Private property is a legal designation for the ownership of property by non-governmental legal entities. Private property is distinguishable from public property, which is owned by a state entity, and from collective or cooperative property, which is owned by a group of non-governmental entities. Private property can be either personal property consumption goods or capital goods. Private property is a legal concept defined and enforced by a country's political system. History Ideas about and discussion of private property date back at least as far as Plato. Prior to the 18th century, English speakers generally used the word «property» in reference to land ownership. In England, «property» did not have a legal definition until the 17th century. Private property as commercial property was invented with the great European trading companies of the 17th century. The issue of the enclosure of agricultural land in England, especially as debated in the 17th and 18th centuries, accompanied efforts in philosophy and political thought by Thomas Hobbes (1588–1679), James Harrington (1611–1677), and John Locke (1632–1704), for example to address the phenomenon of property ownership in arguing against supporters of absolute monarchy john locke conceptualized property as a natural right that god had not bestowed exclusively on the monarchy influenced by the rise of mercantilism locke argued that private property was antecedent to and thus independent of government locke distinguished between common property by which he meant open access property and property in consumer goods and producer goods the latter of which referred to land his chief argument for property in land was improved land management and cultivation over common open access land. Locke developed a normative theory of property rights based on labor, which stated that property is a natural result of labor improving upon nature, and thus by virtue of labor expenditure, the laborer becomes entitled to its produce. In the 18th century, during the Industrial Revolution, the moral philosopher and economist Adam Smith, in contrast to Locke, drew a distinction between the right to property as an acquired right and natural rights. Smith confined natural rights to «liberty and life». Smith also drew attention to the relationship between employee and employer and identified that property and civil government were dependent upon each other, recognizing that «the state of property must always vary with the form of government». Smith further argued that civil government could not exist without property, as government's main function was to safeguard property ownership. In the 19th century, the economist and philosopher Karl Marx (1818–1883) provided an influential analysis of the development and history of property formations and their relationship to the technical productive forces of a given period. Marx's conception of private property has proven influential for many subsequent economic theories and for anarchist, communist and socialist political movements, and led to the widespread association of private property with capitalism. Economics Although contemporary neoclassical economics—currently the dominant school of economics, rejects some of the assumptions of the early philosophers underpinning classical economics, it has been argued that neoclassical economics continues to be influenced by the legacy of natural moral theory and the concept of natural rights, which has led to the presentation of private market exchange and private property rights as «natural rights» inherent in nature. Economic liberals defined as those who support a private sector-driven market economy consider private property to be essential for the construction of a prosperous society. They believe private ownership of land ensures the land will be put to productive use and its value protected by the landowner. If the owners must pay property taxes, this forces the owners to maintain a productive output from the land to keep taxes current. Private property also attaches a monetary value to land, which can be used to trade or as collateral. Private property thus is an important part of capitalization within the economy. Socialist economists are critical of private property as socialism aims to substitute private property in the means of production for social ownership or public property. Socialists generally argue that private property relations limit the potential of the productive forces in the economy when productive activity becomes a collective activity, where the role of the capitalist becomes redundant as a passive owner. 
Socialists generally favor social ownership either to eliminate the class distinctions between owners and workers and as a component of the development of a post capitalist economic system. In response to the socialist critique, the Austrian school economist Ludwig von Mises argued that private property rights are a requisite for what he called rational economic calculation and that the prices of goods and services cannot be determined accurately enough to make efficient economic calculation without having clearly defined private property rights. Mises argued that a socialist system, which by definition would lack private property in the factors of production, would be unable to determine appropriate price valuations for the factors of production. According to Mises, this problem would make rational socialist calculation impossible. In capitalism, ownership can be viewed as a bundle of rights over an asset that entitles its holder to a strong form of authority over it. Such bundle is composed of a set of rights that allows the owner of the asset to control it and decide on its use, claim the value generated by it, exclude others from using it, and the right to transfer the ownership set of rights over the asset of it to another holder. In Marxian economics and socialist politics, there is distinction between private property and personal property. The former is defined as the means of production in reference to private ownership over an economic enterprise based on socialized production and wage labor whereas the latter is defined as consumer goods or goods produced by an individual. Prior to the 18th century, private property usually referred to land ownership. Criticism Private property in the means of production is the central element of capitalism criticized by socialists. In Marxist literature, private property refers to a social relationship in which the property owner takes possession of anything that another person or group produces with that property and capitalism depends on private property. The socialist critique of private ownership is heavily influenced by the Marxian analysis of capitalist property forms as part of its broader critique of alienation and exploitation in capitalism. Although there is considerable disagreement among socialists about the validity of certain aspects of Marxian analysis, the majority of socialists are sympathetic to Marx's views on exploitation and alienation. Socialists critique the private appropriation of property income on the grounds that because such income does not correspond to a return on any productive activity and is generated by the working class, it represents exploitation. The property-owning class lives off passive property income produced by the working population by virtue of their claim to ownership in the form of stock or private equity. This exploitative arrangement is perpetuated due to the structure of capitalist society. From this perspective, capitalism is regarded as class system akin to historical class systems like slavery and feudalism. Private ownership has also been criticized on non Marxist ethical grounds by advocates of market socialism. According to the economist James Yunker, the ethical case for market socialism is as follows, because passive property income requires no mental or physical exertion on the part of the recipient and because its appropriation by a small group of private owners is the source of the vast inequalities in contemporary capitalism, social ownership in a market economy would resolve the major cause of social inequality and its accompanying social ills. See also. Common ownership Enclosure Ideology Personal property Public property 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 income Property rights economics, Rule of law References External links <references> <references>